you have something on your blog called the Aquarian Technocalypse, if I'm pronouncing that right, yes. where you talk about Bitcoin yes. and there's this chart, there's this thing called the Cardinal Cross. Can you explain yeah. that to our listeners? And I would, I'll yes. put that chart on the show notes so you guys can see visually this cross that I'm talking about. Awesome. And I'm, we're uh, finishing up a little post about it because it now it needs an even more explaining too with the developments. So, yeah. um, we have one of my best friends of 20 years and a uh, fellow astrologer, Matthew Swan, who's an honorary astro triplet around here. Uh, <laughs> he's good. I read his articles. He's, he's so good. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. We're very lucky to have him because, I mean, I, I always call him the smartest person I know, and I've learned so much from him. Aww. So he and I co-write a lot of those posts, and we love, you know, we'll spend like a year looking at a chart. Wow. So in I don't like what I think we started to look at the chart of Bitcoin. And then we started in the summer of 2019, like started real. There were all these eclipses and Capricorn and cancer at that time. So we started looking at the USA. We started to notice um, there are there's a grouping of zodiac signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. Those are the signs that start every season. Again, forgive me, uh, newcomers <laughs> okay. for getting too astro geeky. And those are the cardinal signs, right? It's those are the cardinal signs. Basically, they if you think of spring. the beginning of each season, it's the sign. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You feel free to jump in and bring it down. <laughs> I'll to try to yeah, as- make it casual. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So the, the solstices and the equinoxes. So, you know, we we were we were getting curious about okay, well when okay, Bitcoin, wow, was uh first mined January third. So if you cast a chart, it's it's a Capricorn, thirteen degrees Capricorn, you measure by days. And then we're like, Well, let's look at the dollar. Oh wow, that's thirteen degrees Aries, another cardinal sign. And the USA, the fourth of July. Huh, that's 13 degrees cancer. How weird. And then we we're like, well, what would be the other, the fourth cardinal sign Libra? And we found, you know, the Neptune of China. So we started, so we're going to be, I'll, I'll give you the expanded chart, yeah. but we learned that Russia I is also that. a 13 degree Capricorn. Like and it's NATO, wild to me. Why is it all the same degree? I don't know. I don't. We're like, is it the tarot card? You know, that's the death card. I don't like know. How, I don't want to go there. how probable is this is when I look at this? It's crazy. I, just, I know. I know. Matthew and I, we kind of debated. He was like, is there like a breakaway intelligence group that plan some do they these people do they know i mean you know yeah. get into the conspiracy of freemasons do they know <laughs> astrology are they you know aliens ufos what's going on here you know yeah <laughs> I, uh, I mean to yeah. break it down to our listeners who might not understand what we're talking about with the degrees like basically the birthday of bitcoin the birthday of the U, U, united states the birthday of the dollar and the birthday of the chinese yuan as well as you said, Russia, you mean the birth yeah. of Russia? Russia, yeah. So the birthday uh-huh, of the Russia, modern. they yeah. exactly, oh my God, <laughs> they exactly yeah. make like a cross on the birth chart. Yeah. It's exact to the degree. And that to me is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is so it's weird. And almost then divine. NATO I don't know. is a degree off. NATO okay. is a 14 degree Aries. Okay. And I started looking at that this uh, this week even more because I'm like, uh, ha- if you think about those, the cross, think about per- being at a, a four way intersection yes. with your car. Yeah. Like, and if you don't respect the stop signs and go in order, so let's just say you all got there first or think you did and nobody knows, you know, you, you all can go and ram into each other or you can figure out, well, why don't you go? And then I'll go, well, wait, <laughs> and you have to turn. So that's what we're at yeah. at this moment in history, this four way intersection of the cardinal signs. Now the, the cardinal signs, since they're the first signs of every season, you know, they're like the first born, they're a bit entitled. They're like, you know, you can see that Putin just invade, you know, just rushed right. They don't mm-hmm. wait for anything. They're like, I'm doing this. I'm going to get mine. And so, you know, that's where I'm like, all right, we got to prepare for the things we can and can't control because these superpowers are certainly going to do whatever the hell they want. 
and probably not so much care about what the people want. You know? mm-hmm. um, and I want you to yeah. kind of explain in astrology, when you have planets like directly across from each other or like 90 degrees, is, it's called a square. Like, yes. isn't that the most difficult pairing you could have? It's called a hard angle. or right. So it's, it's very much like you have to negotiate. You're at this tug of war and... If you want to dance with each other, you have to do this push pull. So consider right. we've been doing that all along. Basically, That's you don't get along. Tension. It's difficult. <laughs> There's so much t- right. the most tension you could possibly have. Um, yeah. yeah, or it can be this dynamic power couple okay. too. If you do, I mean, you know, China being a Libra and Russia being Capricorn. I mean, they're in the dance with each right. other right now, yes. but. But there's no loyalty to your dance partner. You're dancing together as long as it makes, as long as it serves you. Yeah. It's a very user friendly relationship. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm trying to make as many human metaphors as I can because I do believe that the planets can be personified in their energy. Yeah, I do like that. Um, okay, so I let's get into the implications of what what this really means, though. This cardinal cross does it just like it, it, there's no telling what's going to come out of it through astrology or is there? Oh, there is because what you can also look at are the moving planets. So okay. one of the, you know, we're, we're <laughs> gonna, let, let's surrender to the deep here. Yeah. We're rolling in the deep Go with the astrology it. and we promise we'll give you show notes to explain some of this yes. and link them out to the post. Cause I really, I think it's so important that, you know, people who are, tend to be sort of in the, the, the fluffier, and I love fluff, I don't mean that as an insult, but the more warm and fuzzy astrology, like we need to learn about technology, coding, money, and politics now from a, a totally different view, not a personal view, but like astrology, I feel like is a great lens to look at it through. So it's, it's neutral, you know? Mm-hmm. So if we're looking at it as neutrally as possible, you know, um, I would say the the planets in the sky are always moving too. And there that's you're talking about returns, for example. So the birth date chart of the dollar, the US, et cetera, never changes. It's like a frozen moment in time. But the planets overhead are always clicking around and moving. So they reach certain signs and points and activate energies. So Right now we have Chiron, which is the wounded healer um, in some interpretations uh, at the same degree as NATO's birthday son. So we want to look at is NATO wounded and not respond, you know, by not feeling like they can go in or are they being this wise healer by holding back and not imposing total financial swift ban sanctions. I saw that on Twitter a little while ago by not counterattacking. Are they being wise or are they imperiled? Because Chiron was shot in the Achilles tendon, I think, and wasn't able to, you know, to, to operate at full strength. So that's something I would look at too. So does that make sense? You look at the interplay yes. between the charts right. and the moving, that's the how, moving planets. Okay. And that's how you can start to predict. You I know? see. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm sure that can go really deep. So we don't have to go there today. <laughs> 